Hi friends, this is Raj Shekhar, a GATE faculty for electrical machines. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about effect of leakage flux on transformer operation. Effect of leakage flux. See for example, this is my transformer. When load is connected here, then current flows through this winding and it produces the flux phi 2. Due to this load, some flux produces in the primary that is called phi 2 dash. This phi 2 and phi 2 dashes should be equal and opposite in direction. Equal in magnitude and opposite in direction ideally. But practically this is not possible. Practically out of 100%, 95% of flux is cancelled each other. But remaining 5% of flux is there which is not cancelled each other which is called leakage flux. Remaining 5% of flux is called leakage flux of the primary and leakage flux of the secondary. Due to this leakage flux, here leakage flux is there and here also leakage flux is there. Due to this leakage flux, some EMF induces in the primary and secondary that is called leakage EMF that is called leakage EMF E1 and E2 for example E1 and E2 this is leakage induced EMF due to leakage flux yes or no? actually due to this leakage flux some EMF induces which is called as leakage reactance leakage leakage induced EMF this leakage induced EMF compensated by compensated by physical inductor placed in the winding see how for example this is my transformer again this is my transformer in this transformer we have a winding in the primary which having leakage flux in the primary and secondary of course leakage flux in the secondary the drop due to leakage flux is compensated by is compensated by a fictitious reactance which is x1 and a fictitious reactance which is x2 simply this is the inductor l1 and this is the inductor l2 the drop due to leakage flux or the voltage due to leakage flux represents with or compensated by fictitious reactances x1 and x2 this is uh, compensated by placing the physical inductors in the primary and the secondary windings now let's go for vector diagram for effect of leakage flux let's see how the vector diagram let's see how the vector diagram See here, for example, in generally we know that this is the our vector diagram at no load condition. Here IW is there, here I mu is there. Sum of IW and I mu is taken as I naught. <clears throat> for example, I am taking lagging load when it is lagging load the current when it is lagging load the current is lagging to the voltages we know that for example this is my current which is called i2 and exactly in opposite direction which is called i2 dash sum of i2 dash and i naught is taken as i1 this is my current i1 right now now tell me sir now tell me in generally we know that this is uh, e1 and e2 but i am taking here e2 and here minus e1 
here minus e1 minus e1 and e2 we know that now i want v1 now i want v1 and i want v2 i want v1 and i want v2 nothing but in generally here e1 is there here e2 is there and something is there that is taken as leakage emf and something is there this is taken as leakage emf again so so from this from this i want to indicate this el1 this el1 is represented by fictitious reactance what is voltage across the reactance i1 x1 right i1 x1 of course this i1 x1 vector is always the i1 x1 vector is always 90 perpendicular to the perpendicular to the i1 perpendicular to the i1 this represents the j i1 x1 j i1 x1 e1 plus j i1 x1 is equals to is equals to v1 what is that here v1 is equals to minus e1 plus j i1 x1 j i1 x1 this is what v1 this is represents the the fictitious reactance drop represents the leakage flux voltage leakage flux voltage in the primary what about in the secondary what about in the secondary as usual even in the secondary as usual is perpendicular to the this i2 perpendicular to the i2 so perpendicularly drawn perpendicularly drawn it should be perpendicular this represents the this represents the i2 x2 drop j i2 x2 drop see here see here e2 e2 minus minus j i2 x2 is equals to v2 for example this is our v2 see here v2 and e2 from this e2 is equals to j i2 x2 plus v2 right e2 is equals to this voltage plus this voltage from that e2 is equals to v2 is equals to e2 minus j i2 x2 this is e2 actually but this is the the fictitious reactance voltage fictitious reactance voltage e2 minus fictitious reactance voltage is equals to v2 v2 is equals to e2 minus fictitious voltage very simple this is the effect of leakage flux so the voltage due to leakage flux is compensated by fictitious reactances in the equation fictitious reactances in the equation and physical inductors in the diagram physical inductors in the diagram this is the effect of leakage flux very important question right so simply you have to remember these two equations also here v1 is equals to minus e1 plus jx1 i1 and v2 is equals to v2 we want here v2 but v2 is less than e2 this v2 is equals to e2 minus j i2 x2 v2 minus j i2 x2 this is for lagging load i given for lagging load because the current is in lagging to e if you want to draw for leading load current in this side then you have to draw the vector diagram this is what the effect of leakage flux on the transformer for example now effect of resistance also added what i am asking here for example now the effect of resistance also added 
effect of resistance also added then how the equations simply see here how the equations effect of resistance also added then what happened to equations once you see here once you see here effect of leakage leakage flux is added by fictitious reactants x1 and fictitious reactants x2 i am asking now effect of resistance also effect of resistance also added now this is my r2 this combinedly taken as impedance z1 and this combinedly taken as impedance z2 then from this v1 is equals to when effect of resistance also included v1 is equals to minus e1 plus j i1 z1 or simply i1 z1 no need to take j here so v1 is equals to minus e1 plus i1 z1 i1 z1 this is finally when the resistance also included now can you tell me what is v2 v2 is equals to e2 minus i2 z2 v2 minus i2 z2 because here my v1 and here my e1 this is i1 z1 v1 is equal to i1 z1 because the current direction is like this v1 is equals to i1 z1 plus e1 and here my induced emf e2 and v2 the current direction is like this so e2 is equals to e2 is equals to i2 plus i2 z2 plus v2 i2 z2 plus v2 from this equation v2 is equals to e2 minus i2 z2 e2 minus i2 z2 when the effect of impedance is there this is what generally the effect of resistance and effect of leakage flux okay right okay sir thank you